Well, hello everyone. Welcome to day one of Vlogmas. And I talked to some of you uh, when I'm filming this. This is about 9:30, and I want to get this out before midnight, so it counts as day one of Vlogmas instead of day one going into day two. But in my live stream, I asked some of you if you wanted to see a daily vlog between now and December 24th or 25th, and people said they did. So I thought I'd do little short videos. It's not going to be like my edited videos by any means, um, but I just thought I'd do little glimpses of my day and share it with you as I prepare for Christmas and I build up for Christmas, just some of the things I do. They won't all be Christmas related, you know, but I thought I'd share it with you, so I hope you enjoy it. Today I thought I'd just show you some of the teas that I bought for the holiday season and kind of give you a critique of them. This is probably my least favorite of all the ones I've gotten. This is Hardy and Sons Holiday Tea, and it has fruit and spices in it, and it doesn't really tell what fruit and what spices, and maybe that's part of the problem, but it's okay. It has kind of a chocolatey taste to it, and I still drink it, but it's definitely not my go-to. I'm not sure if you can see from the shadow, but this gives you an idea of what it looks like. It's loose tea, and I either use a strainer or I bought some tea bags that I just put the tea in and do it that way. And this is my other Harney and Son tea that I bought. It's Cranberry Autumn, and it has orange and cranberries in it, and I like this much better. It has a nice full flavor, and, and you'll see a theme going on after I'm done showing you all my teas. And this is what it looks like. You can see it doesn't have the same color in it that the holiday tea has, but I like this a lot better than the other. But this is not my very favorite. I'll have to show you that in a minute. And in case if you're wondering, yes, it smells and tastes just like oranges and cranberries. Now I have to confess, I really did not expect to like this one. I'd seen I'd seen a video on YouTube of Elwood and Fine Teas. And I was intrigued and I found this at Jungle Gyms and it's called Christmas in a Cup. And I think it's very good. It's not my very favorite, but it is really, really good. In fact, I bought two tins because I knew after Christmas it would be gone. And as you can see, I've been drinking quite a bit of this. This is about two thirds gone. And you can see like little bits of orange peel and it has cinnamon in it. It's very good. But let me show you my favorite. Last but not least, this is my absolute favorite Christmas tea. It's Taylor's of Harrogate Spiced Christmas Leaf Tea. It's black tea with citrus fruit and spice. This is made by the good people who make Yorkshire tea, my absolute favorite tea. And unfortunately, I can't show you what's in this because I have kept it sealed so it doesn't go bad. Whereas the other teas store their teas directly into the can, Taylor's of Harrogate keeps theirs in a sealed bag. And I had a heck of a time trying to find this. In fact, when I found it, it was the only one left. So I'm going to take good care of it until I'm ready to drink it. For the past few years, I've had this mug, and I keep forgetting to use it because I keep it in the cabinet. And I'll show you why. On this side, it says Deck the Halls. And on the other side is this Border Collie with Christmas lights around its neck. What I like about this is I can just make one cup of tea. So it has its own strainer. I put the tea in, pour the water over it, let it steep, and then a few minutes later, I've got a nice cup of tea. Oh my goodness! I just hope I remember to use it this year. And here's another thing I need to actually use this year. I sound like my mom. It's too nice to use, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is a Brown Betty teapot. And you've heard me talk about Brown Betty teapots if you've been with my channel for a while. And I like this one. It's a limited edition. It's made to look like a Christmas pudding. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but there are little bumps on it, like a Christmas pudding. And of course, like Minnie Pearl, the tag is still intact. I know there's really bad shadow and reflection here, but I just couldn't help myself. I like how it looks like Ralphie's eyes are glowing. This is a 25-piece A Christmas Story advent calendar, and it has little mini figures in it. So I'm going to check it out and see what it looks like. This is absolutely awesome. This is the Christmas Story house complete with the leg lamp in the window. And you have the driveway and the sidewalk. And you have the Bumpus' hounds. And let me show you something close up. 
This is really cool. I showed this on my live stream, but I didn't notice this. This is cut around the edges, so I can pry this up, and it looks kind of 3D, but I can't keep closing it and opening it from now until Christmas because it'll probably tear. And with three cats, I definitely can't leave this up all day. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the, the windows, they're not numbered like your average advent calendar, so I'm just going to have to randomly pick stuff. I don't think I'll go straight across. I'll just jump around and see what figures show up. Okay, I decide I'm going to pick this one. I'll open it up. Oh, wow, look, it's Randy, Ralphie's little brother. Well, let me put the camera down and I'll show you what it looks like. This is really cool. This is something I can keep well after Christmas. And I'll probably keep it out all year long. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what other figures are revealed. And last but not least, this is probably the only decoration I'll put up. Maybe not. I'll, I might put a tree up or something, but um, I just don't feel like cleaning stuff up after Christmas. So these are easy. This is a candle that's battery operated and it flickers. Got it from Lowe's and I put them in my windows. And on the back, you can see it has an on off switch and a timer. So I just put it on timer and then it does the rest. This is what it looks like through the window shade, and you can see it looks a lot like a, a real flame. And it looks great from the outside, but I'm not going outside to show it to you. Maybe later on this month, but it's too cold out. So that's day one of Vlogmas. I hope I can continue this every day until the 24th or the 25th. Hope I don't lose steam. And like I said, it's not going to be like my regular edited videos. I'm just going to show you a little glimpse of my day and see what's going on. Maybe we'll go Christmas shopping or look for lights or I don't know do something. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share on your social media. Until next time, everyone, this is Cashew, signing off.